hey, what's happening people? Today we're going to talk about getting uh, some headshot uh, pictures on location. Sometimes you don't have a studio. Sometimes your client wants some uh, headshots when you are in location or you are outdoors. And this session, we're going to go over a quick and easy setup for, you no, know, you can carry with you uh, everywhere and uh, you have predictable results. For a setup like this, you need two lights. I like to work with two lights because you need to, to create a balance with the ambient. And uh, I think two lights works always better outdoors. Uh, I have two Profoto lights. I have the Profoto A10 with a glow cell box here uh, as my main light. And I'm gonna use a Profoto A2 just with the diffuser uh, as my backlight. And also the most important piece of equipment for this setup, it is a reflector. For headshots, you always need the reflectors or at least like a lower light to bounce uh, a light in the, the eye of your uh, subject. And being outdoors with is reducing the, the amount of lights we need, but the reflector is very important because without interesting uh, catch lights and, uh, in the eye, uh, um, a very tight headshot is losing interest. For this session to, to, to work properly, you need to have your background as far as possible from the, uh, your subject. We are like 30, 40 feet away and we are at the limit. You need even like a longer distance to make sure that the other background is uh, totally blur. It's nothing you can uh, see in the, in the background. A 70, 200 millimeter lens will work perfect for a situation like this at the 200 millimeter side of the zoom. For uh, this session, I am only using an 85 1.2 because I don't have a room to back up here. We have Leo today for a, a quick uh, portrait and I'm going to start with my main light. I'm going to use it, adjust it, you know, to the side. I like in a Rembrandt position to see how it works. I got to make sure that the reflector is high enough to catch some of this light and bounce back uh, on the bottom of his eye. And also I'm going to set up my background or the edge light here in the back. You gotta adjust your uh, cell box, you know, to make sure that you have some light bounce, uh, bouncing from the reflector in the eyes of your subject. Because as I told you before, the highlights in the eyes are gonna make uh, this portrait being so close to the viewer. Also, depending, you know, on the ambient light, you gotta make sure that, you know, you might need to tilt or move, you know, the reflector forward to maximize, you know, the reflective uh, surface and, uh, you know, to hit back uh, on his eyes. Keep your uh, edge light powered down so you don't uh, burn uh, the highlights on the side of the face. Profoto A10, Profoto A2, a foldable 27-inch uh, for subbox, a couple of stands. You're always going to carry the stands with you and a, a reflector. It, this is kind of like my uh, go-to uh, setup for a location shooting. And it doesn't take too much room. You can set it up fast and you can get, you know, uh, nice uh, headshots even on location. If you have any questions, please comment below. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.